I'm going to show you how to turn a picture, any picture you have, into a puzzle in PowerPoint. Then you could take these little pieces and copy and paste them into Google Slides or into Seesaw for your students to put together. So we are going to create a puzzle shape to begin with. So I, we, I'm first of all going to insert the photo that we're, I'm going to use. So I have a picture of my puppy Kiki. And I want this to be square, and I want it to be a certain size. So if I look here, my height is 7.5. My width, which is what I'm going to be using, is 5.63. So I'm just going to turn that, change that to 5. That way I know if I'm going to use four, four square puzzle pieces, each one is going to have to be 2.5 inches big. Now I'm going to crop, but I want to make sure that I crop the aspect ratio of 1 to 1, so it's square. So it automatically makes it that 5 inch by 5 inch, and now I'm just going to move Miss Kiki down a little bit, click off on the side so she's good to go. I'm going to move her over here for now, and I'm going to build my puzzle pieces. So insert is where you want to be, shapes, and you're going to use a square. So to get a true square, I'm going to hold down shift while I drag. Now I could be watching those numbers and sometimes you get lucky enough to get it right on and other times this happens. So I can come over to here and I can change this to 2.5 and have it exactly right. Okay, now I'm going to insert a circle. So again, to make it a, a perfect circle, I'm going to hold down Shift. And this is going to be this little knob here. Once I make my circle, as I start to drag it over, you're going to notice that horizontal alignment line. And now I've got one vertically, too. So it's in perfect shape. That's where I need it to be. I'm going to drop it there. To duplicate it, I'm going to do Control-D. And I'm going to bring this one up to this uh, top side. And again, I'm looking for having the two red guidelines in the center uh, to show me that it's centered. All right, I've got that one selected. I'm going to hold down Shift and select the square. And I'm looking for merge shapes. You have to be in the shape format um, ribbon to get to that. So merge shapes, I'm going to click on that. And this one's going to be the union. Now I'm going to hold down Shift again and click on this other circle, and this one is going to be Subtract. So now I have my puzzle piece, and I know it's the perfect size for this picture. So now I'm going to Control D one, two, three times to rotate, come up to the little Rotate button, hold down Shift, boy we get a lot of use out of Shift, and go to 90. This one's going all the way around to 180. And this one is going to 270. So now I've got my pieces. Here's my photo. I'm going to start laying the pieces on top of the photo, but I'm going to need four copies of this photo. So I'm going to click on it, Control D, four times. I'm going to drag one of these over here drag these guys out of the way so it's not too confusing. This needs to come to the front, so I'm going to right click and go bring to front. And I'm going to lay this again looking for those alignment lines. I saw them, so this one's good to go. So now I'm going to click on my picture and then back on this puzzle piece. And I am going to go to I forget. Oh, so now I'm going to click on the picture and this puzzle piece and I need my shape format again because I am going to tell it to intersect. And there's my first puzzle piece. Drag over another piece of the puzzle. I'm going to bring this one to the front and see where it belongs. Up, it's the bottom left side. Again, I'm waiting to see those alignment lines. That's good to go. I'm going to click on my picture.
click on my puzzle piece, click on shape format, merge shapes, intersect. And there's the other piece, another piece. Now pull another one over, bring this one to the front. Lay it on there. Good alignment. Click on my picture, click back on my puzzle piece, and go to Shape Format, Merge Shapes, Intersect. And then the last one, drag this one into place. Click on my picture, click on my shape, click on Shape Format, go to Merge Shapes, and Intersect. And now you've got your puzzle pieces. If you want to, you can now play around a little bit to maybe add a shadow to it, to each piece. I'm going to do Control A to select all of them first, so I don't have to do them one at a time. Kind of adds a little bit more depth to it. You can add a shape outline to it too, if you would like. And you are good to go. I can then take this one piece at a time and copy and paste it into either Seesaw or Google Slides. And once you get it there, you could tweak it by turning it if you'd like to. I hope you have fun with this. I know I've had fun with it.